Hey everyone, welcome to Amako Kitchen. Today, Amma has a special recipe to share. She's going to demonstrate how to make tomato chutney using her own homegrown green tomatoes. And with that being said, we will need 400 grams of green tomatoes. To add some flavor, we have 10 cloves of garlic, salt as per your preference, one third teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of fanspuran, three dried red chilies, and one teaspoon of paprika powder. 15 grams of tamarind, but today Amma is using lapsi as an alternative. 30 grams of dagli, or sugar. And four tablespoons of oil. We will start off by adding oil into our preheated pan. Next, add the baspuran and let it fry for a little bit. You can now add in the dried chilies. Then throw in the garlic, make sure to chop them into smaller pieces beforehand. Cook the garlic for a few minutes before adding the next ingredient. After a few minutes of cooking the garlic, add in the tamarind. Shortly after, you can add the tomatoes. For a little bit of extra context behind these tomatoes, they are the last batch of tomatoes that grew in Amma's garden at the end of the previous tomato season. As a result, they did not get a chance to ripen, so instead of disposing them, Amma kept them frozen in the freezer for later use. So in today's recipe, she wanted to show that unripe tomatoes can still be utilised and incorporated into your daily meals. After cooking the tomatoes for a few minutes, add the tamarind, or in our case, lupsi, and stir. Straight after, you can add the salt. Then stir again. Continue to stir the mix from time to time and take breaks in between by covering the pan with a lid. This allows the heat to cook the ingredients and soften the tomatoes. Add the dagari, this can be substituted with sugar. Amma just prefers using dagari as she considers it to be a healthy alternative to sugar. You can skip this part if you prefer not to have any sweetness in your chutney. Lastly, add in the paprika powder and stir it into the mix. After cooking the tomatoes for approximately 5 to 10 minutes, they should be ready to blend. You should end up with a paste-like consistency, not too runny but also not too thick. Let it cool down and then enjoy it with a meal. This chutney is sweet, sour and a tiny bit spicy and it goes along well with chapati, parathas and rice. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!